Be honest with me. Do your actions currently match your ambition? Whatever you want to do, wherever you want to be, whatever you want to build in your life, your business this year, do your actions actually reflect what you want to create and do in your life? Because this is a fantastic, fantastic thing that I want to talk to you a little bit about today. And as I talk and walk a little bit as I go back into the office, because a lot of people are saying that they want to do stuff and they're not actually... The actions that they're taking, the massive action in their life that they feel that they're doing isn't actually in reflection to what you ultimately want to do. Okay, let me explain what I mean by this because it's such a, it's such an important concept because this isn't about um, offending anybody. This isn't about, if this offends you, then this is actually a good thing to say because ultimately... If something offends you, that means that you've got some type of emotional reaction to ultimately what's just been said. And if you've got emotional reactions as to what's just been said, it means you've got to look internally on what that actually means. Okay, so a lot of people that I have spoken to, Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com, they'll say to me they want to be rich. They'll say to me that they want to take massive action. They'll say to me that they want to build a business this year. They'll say that they want to, I don't know, um, uh, quit the job and, and get into a warehouse and do all these things, this, that, and the other. But the actions that they're taking isn't in proportion to the ambition that they have. It's like, if you want to be a multi-millionaire, if you want to become really, really rich, or if you want to become successful, if you want to build a business and all these things... But then you can't, for example, you may be fearful of hiring somebody. You may be fearful of investing. You may be fearful of standing in front of your team to share your goals and your visions for 2019. Then your vision, your, your actions, the actions that you're taking do not match your ambition. Does that make sense? And it's a really valuable quote. It's actually a really, really good um, a bit of advice. And a big good quote that we got from, like Gary V says that quite a lot. And it really made me think about what my ambition is. It really made me think about what, and it should do you, like what is your ambition? And this takes guts. It takes a lot of guts because a lot of the times, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to become is outside your comfort zone, which basically means if you haven't got the guts to push outside your comfort zone, to hire somebody, to fire somebody, to stand in front of your team, and, and you've got these ambitions, it means that you're not in proportion to ultimately what you want to create, what you want to do. Okay, so think about that. Think about that this today, like January. Okay, it's January the, as I record this, it's the Wednesday, uh, the 9th of January, We've just had another meeting at the warehouse where I stood there in front of the entire team. This is what we want to do. This is how we're going to create it. These are the improvements. These are our goals. This is ultimately what we want to achieve. I've hired people. I've fired people. All these things. And it's in proportion to my ambition. Okay. I want to put on events this year. I want to put more events on because that's in, in my realm of reality right now, that is in proportion to what I want to do in my life in terms of my ambition. Okay, so the question in this video for you, the question is very, very simple. The actions that you're taking right now, the actions that you're taking, whether you are currently in your business heavily or you want to get out of your job or you want to grow your business, you want to do something else. Do your actions match your ambition? Because it takes guts. You've got to push outside your comfort zone to ultimately achieve the success that you want. Okay? This isn't, this, this is about honesty. This is about self-reflection. This is about really knowing, I, I'm, I'm afraid of this, but I'm going to do it. Like, at every stage, at every stage that I've done, like investing money, hiring somebody. When I first got started in my business, like purchasing products for the first time, that was difficult because I was like, oh, I'm giving away something. I'm like, oh, what if this doesn't work? What if that doesn't work? But the truth is, you got to push outside that. you got to push outside that. It's like when... It's like when you hire the first person to do your purchasing in your business. If somebody's using your money or hiring on your behalf or doing something on your behalf, 
that's going to make you feel uncomfortable to begin with because it is ultimately, it is pushing you outside your comfort zone. And then when somebody has done that for a period of time, you grow, you expand. So today's question is all about ultimately, what is it that you want to do? What is your ambition and does your actions meet your ambition? Okay. Because if it doesn't, you need to change. You need to do something different. Um, tonight, I've actually got the another um, webinar. I've got another web class talking a bit more about the Online Arbitrage Master 3.0. Should be a link in the description. But ultimately, that is, is in proportion to my ambition. Okay, I want to help people get freedom. I want to help people fast track freedom in a period of six weeks, which means I've got to push outside my comfort zone and really put this into a system, into something that I can support people along the journey with. It's the same as working with an accountant when you're thinking about the legal sort of things. A lot of the things we don't know, the jargon, the accountant word in the, there's a whole brand new language, but you've got to learn that. You've got to push outside your comfort zone. You've got to do what you need to do to become successful and continue to grow. Okay, so if you are interested, join me in tonight's session. I'm expecting it to be a smaller session because I've already done it. Um, there's, there's a little bit more involved in terms of um, I'm there to answer anybody's questions. But ultimately, does your actions meet your ambition? It's a fantastic, fantastic question to ask yourself. It's, it's something that I've personally got from, from Gary Vee over the last couple of weeks. And ultimately... You know, I'm looking internal at all the operations that I've got, where I'm becoming the leader. Am I hiring the right people? Is my content creation, the system, the value that I'm trying to give, is it is it improving? Am I making it more efficient? Am I making it more uh, streamlined? All these things that you've got to ask yourself if you want to be successful. So this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com, inspiring you every single day to keep taking massive action. There's more videos alongside here. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Keep taking massive action.